Oi tu ambil anda nama ni kufian dengan orang kugat dua no payu, ini orang kufian dijat tanah yang ekor kundi ini dah lah. Ben mak ben mak ben yang nanti tiba ni. Fiun nanti benda tiba tiba ni. Ini bila bata nanti nanti ekor nanti, nanti ekor labu ni. Hei, kau tu kau mau? Kau lah de video fiun. Kau anda fiun ni. Kau mau ada bau tu? Kau mau yang mana? Okay, so guys, like here what she said. She said back in the days when you bring your daughter to school. Hello everyone, this is Maria Ba. Thank you so much for coming back to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate everyone, guys. You are showing me love. I love you guys. Today, I want to talk about some reasons why many Guinean girls don't go to school, especially back in the days. So it is a big topic because we have a lot of people in Africa. Let me say in Africa. Like, so well, like I know a lot of people who couldn't go to school when they was young because of their siblings. And that's who said, it's sad, but it is good too because we can't eat because of your siblings. And when your mother is not here, you are the one who will take care of them because you are the eldest. So basically, girls often stay home to take care of their younger siblings when their mother dead or when their mother um, have a lot of work to do back in the days. So, but a lot of people, they do that because their mother passed away when they was young and they were the oldest one in the house. So you have to take the decision, you have to stop everything to make sure your siblings is doing good that's a very good sacrifice it is a sad thing but yes it is good when you are the oldest one you have to do a lot of stuff even now some houses when you are um, the oldest one everything is on you everything the parent be like go go in jano go in jang go on he what the kundo what on there you know what I'm saying? So that's a reasonable thing. So my second reason is because of the girls. So a lot of people back in the days, still now, a lot of people put in their mind, if you are a girl, you cannot go to school. You should stay home, do housework, cleaning, cooking, something like that. Still now, like I said, they have this in their mind like in Africa they be like when you are a woman when you go to school like you get your education you cannot like take care of your kids in the future but in some reason it is true and it is not because like a lot of people especially in America a lot of people have kids they don't have time for their children's because they have works like work sorry they have work to do they work like monday to sunday you know what i'm saying okay. um they always said an educated woman will not have time to learn to take care of their household and other women tax so a lot of african parents um have that in their mind but yes and no so it depends you know you can do both at the same time Really, we really need education. We really do need it. So um, that's one of the reasons why back in the days they don't allow females to go to school. Even now, some parents don't. Okay, guys, so my third reason is early marriage. So in Africa, back in the days, and even now, a lot of people cannot go to school because of that. So in Africa, a lot of people will promise you like guys they be like okay when I get married to you I will let you still go to school but they don't they be promising people and they don't do it they really don't it is very sad because when your woman is educated I swear to God it is good for you too yeah I can build a lot of stuff together because if you, you can build stuff even though you don't have education but if you do have education you can build a lot of stuff like Nobody can fool you if you do have education. Like PGB, 
I told you guys. I said I'm not gonna speak for Lani today, but I swear to God, <laughs> you see what I'm doing? <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? A lot of people have that in their mind. If a woman is educated, it's a very difficult thing. But some cases, it's very true, but they should not put that in their mind, you know? Really, we really, oh, we really need education. We really do need education, guys, we do. Here, you can do something, something about it. Like this is America, you can decide what you're going to do. You can you can do something about it, cause it is freedom. But it is a, but in Africa you cannot. When you get married to a man, he's the one who going to tell you everything you're going to do. Even here, you have to respect your husband and everything, but it's different. But here, if you're married to someone and that person said you're not going to school, I swear to God, you're gonna be like, you know what? You crazy, you crazy, and yes, you are crazy. But in Africa, you cannot like talk about your opinions. They're not gonna let you do it. Even your parent, when your husband say that, like they'll be like, okay, you have to respect your husband because he's the one who will marry you. You know, you have to do it even though you don't want to do it. You know, and now it is different because like even the guys really need a woman who who's educated. You know, and back in the days, no, they don't need it. They just needed someone who will stay home all day, cook for them, and have babies. You know, that is very different. You know what I mean? Still now we have, like, people who do it, but it's, um, it's like, less now. Also, like, a you know? lot of people, when they, a lot of women, when they're pregnant, it's not easy for you. It's not easy to do both. When you get pregnant, they be like, oh, my God, your husband be like, you should stay home now till you have your kid. When you have your kid, they be like, you should raise your kids. You cannot go to school, all that stuff will, and when you stay like, let me say, five months, six months, some people a year, three years, home which are going to school, I swear to God, you'll be like, you know what, let me just leave that. A lot of people have that in their mind. They give up so easily, you know what I mean? If you're learning something, you have to go for it. Don't give up so fast. I know it's not easy, but you should push it, push it. Push it, guys. guys. I think my last reason is lack of funding, lack of money. Um, like I said, over 2263 million children is out of school in Africa. I can say more than that. So, um, some reason is like the parents don't have money because a lot of school in Africa, they said is public. You don't pay nothing. But it is a lie. You have to pay. You have to work and pay because if you need like some books, you have to pay it. They're not gonna give you everything in school. The government in As Africa is very bad. Like, very, very bad. Let me tell you something, guys. In the future, if I become a good leader in Africa, I'm gonna change everything. Because in Africa, the government is sucks. Like, they, they don't help kids and everything. They be trying and stuff, but not really hard trying. Like, they not trying. Like, if I become a president, I don't think so, but it's something like that. Like, oh my God, in the making, inshallah. If I become something like that, I swear to God, every kid, every children, I'm gonna find me a guards. Like, guards. If you see a kid, if you see a kid in, like, in the street after like 3 p.m., take them and give and bring to them. Bring me to them. Like, for real. Get that my castle. <laughs> All the people who don't go to school, I swear to God, I'm not going to let that happen as a president or a good leader. So, it's crazy, I'm telling you guys. It's very sad when I see all these kids which are going to school or having problems with their parents and stuff. It's very sad. But inshallah, everything will be fine. I hope so one day. So guys, thank you for watching me today. I really appreciate everything. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Also share with your friends. So maybe one day I'll become somebody. If you don't support me now, don't call me that time. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. You know, I'm never serious, but I love you all, guys. Stay blessed.